Hi, I'm Oscar. This is Carbonello. And uh, I'm a singer and producer. I live in Melbourne. Often, yeah, I think I many, many times as a kid would be hanging out with people, spending time with people, and they would just be like, you're really, really weird. What are you talking about, kind of thing. And that, I think that's the side effect of being an only child, that you, you just get weirder, because you invent worlds and perhaps get a more sort of thorough or extensive imagination going as a person, like someone who's just has a very vivid imagination and spends a lot of time in an invented world or in a non-existent reality rather than like just playing a game. And there was no one there to say, that's weird, what are you doing? So I would follow like in a direction that got weirder and weirder. At night time, I used to love staying at my grandma's house because she'd tell me these like three hour long stories that were just like amazing little journeys and worlds. I, honestly, like some of my favorite times in my whole life was sleeping with my abuela and just lying there. She'd make up stories about like miniature worlds and really thorough, kind of boring, but then so thorough that it was gorgeous. <laughs> I think I was 16 or 15 when I started getting into the Albert's basement scene. We put on little gigs, you know, at a friend's house or in a basement, or like that's where the Albert's basement name comes from because it was in Albert Street basement with just collections of people that we thought were really essential and interesting and inspiring, but really unknown. The thing that made me move away from that scene was in fact the very thing that kind of drew me to it in the first place, which is that it was so understated and so non-specific and so just about exposing the unexposed. A, a big part of when I started to really reassess what I was doing musically was after the Suki record. I was really up my own ass. I was like in my own world. I was, you know, 17 and I thought like what I was doing was world class. And I thought it was like really, really good. And, you know, I'd spent so much time developing every aspect of it. Like every layer had been completely conceptualized and executed. Everything was so meaningful and important. And like, how could anybody not appreciate how thoughtful this is or whatever? Like the amount of work that's put into it, like the idea of like a painting that has a lot of layers is a good painting. And then it was this idea of going, okay, I don't want to, be intellectually wanking and trying to just like be as esoteric and as like next level as possible to the point where you're just doing like a mashy nothingness. I want people who don't know anything about music or anything about the context to get it. I want people to get it. The Oscar Key Song project is different to the other projects I've done so far because it's me coming at it in a more mature way. The main focus is not to figure things out, but to more tackle ideas and concepts and sort of manifest things. It's more holistic. There's more of a sense of an overall aesthetic, an overall vibe. It's less all over the place, less finding its feet and more just a sound. I've just completed an EP. More or less all of the songs, yeah, are about this sort of, this futility and this like, this stand, this point of coming to a standstill and just being like, I can't get to the next moment. Like, I can't stop doing what I'm doing. Talking about maybe somebody having power over you, something like that, and not being able to get past that. So the whole EP, to me, it doesn't sound like it has an outcome. Most of it sounds like, I can't get past this. And just being honestly kind of unempowered and kind of pathetic in a way, but in a way that's not wallowing in it, but just being like, yeah, okay, I can admit that. And that's part of the process of me getting over it. The only thing that I could possibly describe as a philosophy that I have that's, you know, my universal key is an openness to things being capable of shifting at any point. I don't want to be closed-minded, but when, when I'm in the thick of it, I am just a, a mess and a pile of self-doubt. 
that has these high moments and then goes back down again from thinking, yes, this is what I need to be doing. Oh, what am I doing? Who am I? What am I doing? Da, 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 and back and forth. So I think I'll be able to explain where I'm going once I've gotten there. <laughs> if you want to show us your support, subscribe to the Being Here YouTube channel. It actually makes a big difference for us. Thanks.